okay to, we shall be developing a growth model that uh, you can see from here growth model that we shall develop today and here our model is 1.1 1 .1. uh, the, the, that is our model so actually this is our model growth model right and here what is I why is the actually why is the sales volume uh, but what I have done I, I have converted the variable into log y you can see so the variable has been converted to log right so the variable has been converted to log y and c1 is the is the constant and t is the time period so here t means 2007 to 2010 and e is the residual so that is our model 1.1 okay and here uh, and the equation 1.1 actually uh, actually a semi log model so actually 1.1 the model actually is a semi log model model as why only one variable is in the log form so here only one variable that is the dependent variable is in the log form in the log shape so this type of model we call it semi log model semi log you can see from here that means only one variable is in the log form so semi log model so uh, actually that uh, this one is called semi log growth model and what is our question the question is that what is the sales growth sales growth rate over time that is the question and that we have to estimate what is the sales growth rate which is why right S uh, suppose sales of car what is the uh, growth rate of sales of car so that is the question what is the sales growth rate over time that we want to estimate okay and uh, and we have that we have that data to estimate the sales growth rate okay then what I shall do I shall be estimating the equation 1.1 and do the residual test right that uh, we shall be doing I shall be estimating the equation 1.1 and do the residual test and our model estimated model 1.1 should not have any serial correlations or autocorrelation residual should be free from heteroscedasticity and the residual must be normally distributed so this thing should be there in the model and finally in a, a, a addition to this residual of model 1.1 should be stationary so uh, so uh, that means uh, in this model there should not be any serial correlation 
should not be heteroscedasticity and the residual should be normally distributed. At the same time, the residual of the model should be stationary. Right? And for testing stationary, we shall be using correlogram. That we shall be using for testing the stationary of the residual correlogram meaning that Q statistics we shall be using here Q statistics or correlogram and here what is our null hypothesis residual is is stationary and what is alternative residual is not stationary right so that is our null and that is our alternative hypothesis. And luckily, our estimation has passed all the tests above. That means uh, there is no serial correlations. That means the residual is normally distributed and, uh, and there is no heteroscedasticity and finally, the residual uh, is also stationary. So all tests have passed. So, so we can say that our estimated semi-log model 1.1 is valid, meaning that this model is all right for, for growth prediction. This model is all right or valid for growth estimation or growth prediction. Okay. So, so, so that 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 so that is the story, and uh, and here is the terms of uses that you can see.